How's it going guys, it's Marcus. I'm probably a little bit tardy to the party with this kind of video, but I figured since I just made a video recently about every single character ever in the Total Drama, or at least every contestant ever in the Total Drama franchise, I figured I might as well one-up myself here and do a full Total Drama tier list, including all the characters like, uh, Don, Chris, and Chef as well, and ranking them based on how much I like them as characters and or people. If this video sounds kind of rambly, it's because I'm not scripting it, obviously. I feel like scripting a tier list video would be a little bit weird, so figured I might as well just kind of go off the walls and speak my mind. So apologies if it sounds a little sporadic at times. Also, I tried recording this one other time, and I'm probably not going to be going super into detail on every single character's placement because I tried doing that and the video ended up being about 20 minutes when I had only gotten up to like here. I'd only gotten to around where Bridget was and the video had already been 20 minutes so I'm probably not going to be going super in depth for my reasoning on every single character because the video is going to end up being like over an hour if I do that and I, I don't think people would want to see that so. But without further ado, let's start with far left and I'm just going to be going from far left down to here and uh, Cody, he's gonna be in B. I think that's a pretty good spot for Cody. Cody, decent character, uh, was okay in Island, decent in World Tour 2, so I think S is too generous, but putting him in C and D might be too low. Courtney for sure going in S. I don't think anybody is gonna argue, argue with me on that one. Well, maybe some people will, but I feel like the majority <laughs> would think that she belongs in S. Uh, DJ, gonna put an A, I think. Uh, he's pretty good. He, the whole, like, thing with the animal curse thing in World Tour, I didn't, like that much, but I liked him in Island a lot, and he was pretty decent in action too, even though he didn't make it that far. Uh, Eva, I'm gonna put in B2. Like, maybe that's a little bit of a controversial one, but I think she's okay. Like, her, her temper never annoyed me, and seeing just how strong she was, was, was kind of comical at times. Like, the, the, remember that one scene in the, um, the aftermath where she was literally pulling a truck with her teeth? Like, that's, that was funny stuff. <laughs> uh, Zeke, I'm gonna put in C. I don't think he's, like, horrible, but not super great either. I feel like Zeke's just kind of a meme. Like, I feel like the people, a lot of the people who like Zeke just like him for the meme because he's such like a, he's a memeable character. You know, he, he always got booted first and then literally turned into some kind of mutant. So I never really liked him all that much to begin with post-mutant or pre-mutant. So yeah, I don't know. I think C's a good spot for him. He's not terrible, but not that great either. Uh, Harold's going in S, I think for sure. Uh, Harold, I liked him a lot in Island. He was really funny. He got incredible character development and action. He did get snuffed a little bit in World Tour, unfortunately. I mean, he, he did it to himself, but I mean, it was honorable. Action in particular, he was so incredible in. I feel like I gotta put him in S. Obviously, Heather too. The way they handled her character, absolutely amazing. Like, she was, even though a lot of people didn't like her as a person in Island, like, you can't deny that she was an incredible antagonist, and then turning into an antagonist slash anti-hero in World Tour because of Alejandro. No other character has been handled like that in the Total Drama franchise, and in such a well mannered manner too. Like, I, I gotta put her up there. Uh, Izzy, I think he's going in A. Uh, she's funny. I like her chaotic energy. S simple as that. Same with Lashana too. She's she's pretty good. Definitely definitely better than than these three. But I I don't think she's quite S tier. So I, I think A is a good spot for her. Noah on the other hand definitely S tier. Incredibly funny character. Sarcastic, witty, snarky, know it all. His relationship with Emma and Ridiculous Race was one of my favorite parts of that entire season and one of my favorite parts of his character in general. So yeah. Uh, Trent is going in B. I liked him in Island, but the whole that whole OCD thing with the nine stuff in action was felt super out of left field. I, I really don't understand why they did that. To I mean, I get it was, like, to further imply that he and Gwen are gonna, you know, break up that season, but it, it was a really weird way to go about it, because it, he, his reasoning was it wasn't even about Gwen, it was something about his, like, grandmother, I think? Correct me if I'm wrong, I think it was something about his grandmother. So if that was the case, like, why did he never do it in Island? It felt so strange to me, I don't know. Also, I'm not gonna be doing this tier list in complete order. I mean, obviously the tiers themselves are gonna be ordered, like, S being the best and D being the worst, but, like, besides, like, my favorite character of all time and my least favorite character of all time... I can't really order everything in between because, like, look how many fucking characters there are. It's, it's just way too hard. I probably should have prefaced that in the beginning of the video, but... <laughs> No, you know. Uh, D is Amy. Uh, she actually might be the worst character in the entire series, like, honest to God. Like, I, I like to meme on Dave a lot, but I feel like these two are borderline interchangeable. Like, at least, Dave was at least somewhat bearable before he was getting, like, too obsessed with Sky. but Amy is just, like... She has, like, no redeeming qualities whatsoever, dude. Like, actually none. Like, she had potential- she had potential to be a good villain, and I feel like- and I feel like a lot of people who saw the promo arc for Pocket- or promo art for Pocket Island thought she was gonna be, like, the main villain. And then she just ended up being some bratty bitch who only was out to get her sister, and, like, didn't do anything else in the competition to further herself in the million dollars- for the million dollars other than, like, just- 
shitting on Sammy. It was really annoying. I absolutely hate Amy. Uh, Anne Maria's going in C. Uh, she's not terrible, terrible. She has some, like, decent funny moments, but I still don't like her that much. But I don't think she's, like, Amy tier. Uh, B, I think I'm gonna put an A. Even though he wasn't on screen that much, uh, whenever he was on screen, I liked him a lot. For a man who literally never spoke, he still managed to make me smile whenever he did stuff. Like, he, he was a genius. He, he knew what he was doing, it, but the problem is he didn't speak and wasn't able to defend himself when Scott cooked him, so yeah, unfortunate. Uh, Owen put an S. Uh, he's like, he, how could you not put Owen an S? He's like, the face of total drama, pretty much, besides Chris McLean, so liked him a lot. One of the, very, one of the funniest characters in the Gen 1 cast. Uh, Duncan's also going an S. I don't think anyone's gonna argue with, argue with me on that one either. He was great in Island, great in action, uh, great in World Tour. Action, he was probably the best in, obviously, because he made it to the final two, but just his character development in general was really good in action. All-Stars, obviously, they fumbled him really badly. I mean, they did that a lot, or they did that with most of the uh, Gen 1 contestants, but I feel like Duncan got it the worst out of all of them. Like, having the whole backstory with Mal be revealed and then just not being developed whatsoever, and then him still liking Courtney the entire time while he was with Gwen, who's, I, I don't know what they were thinking. Uh, Alejandro, gonna put an A. I don't quite think he's S. He, he was really good in World Tour for sure. Like, what he did as an antagonist was incredible, but he got a similar treatment to Duncan in All-Stars and just got shafted super hard. Like, the way they treated him against Mal, he almost, they almost made him too much of a punching bag, and it really didn't make a whole lot of sense considering how much we knew he was capable of in World Tour. So I don't understand why they made him such a punching bag in All-Stars, so I feel like that's, that's probably why I'm putting him in A. He's not quite S, but he's still good. Uh, Tyler, I think I'm gonna put an A just off the sole fact that he's just so incredibly funny. Like, every time this guy was on screen, he made me laugh. He was never annoying. So I think I think A is a good spot for him. Uh, Gwen, I'm just gonna put at the top of S because she's my favorite character of all time. I'm, I'm just gonna leave it at that. Gwen is fucking incredible. She's, she's gotta be up there. Uh, Sierra's going in A. Uh, she, obviously, she was, you know, crazy in World Tour, but she was a very strong competitor and knew what she was doing. So her craziness with Cody never got, like, too annoying. So I think I think A is a pretty good spot for her. Uh, Beardo's going in D. Hate this guy. He's just literally the human soundboard. Nothing more, nothing less. Uh, Beth is going in B, I think B for Beth. Uh, she was good in action, but wasn't too fond of her in Island, so I think B is a decent spot. Uh, Brick's going in A. I like Brick a lot. Bridget, I think I'll put in B. I don't know, like, she, I, I feel like she peaked in Island, to be honest. I mean, she had some, I mean, the Aftermath show stuff was cool, I guess, but, like, as a competitor, she definitely peaked in Island. I mean, not, not just off of her placing, but just, like, as a character, I feel like she felt like she peaked in Island, because she got booted instantly in action, got booted, what, like, fourth in World Tour, so, yeah, I don't know. Uh, Brody? I think I'll put Brody in B also. He, he was all right. Uh, Cameron's going in A. I loved him. Where do I put Carrie? I guess I'll put her in B. She was, she was, she was pretty good. I, uh, yeah, I, I think B is a good spot for her. Uh, Chef Hatchet's going in A. Chef Hatchet, I, I like Chef Hatchet a lot as a character. Chet. Chet, Chet, Chet. I'm gonna put Chet in A because he, he and Lorenzo were really funny. Like, I mean, most of the redonkulous race people, to be honest, are gonna go in the same tiers because a lot of the redonkulous Donkey's race uh, teams have like very similar personality. That was the whole thing. Like a lot of the teams in Redonkey's race were based off of like interests and careers or just like living situations, I guess. So a lot of the Redonkey's race people are probably going to be in the same tier. Just just a heads up. Uh, Chris, 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 Chris. I feel like Chris is going to be in B. Like he was really good at for, I mean, I feel like most of you who have watched my total drama content probably know how I feel about Chris. Like I liked him a lot in the first half of the total drama seasons, I guess, but then Revenge of the Island onward, just re or just Revenge of the Island and Pocket Team in particular, I just was not a huge fan of him. But I did like him in Island action and, and for the most part World Tour, so I think B is an okay spot for him. Uh, Crimson, she's going in S for sure. I think Dakota's probably, or no, no, A, sorry. I think I'm probably gonna put Dakota in A too. Actually, no, 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 Dakota, mm, Dakota's gonna go B, I think. Yeah, I think Dakota's Dakota's going to be. She was decent, but B. I think B is a decent spot for her. Uh, Dave, get your stupid ass down there. <laughs> get your dumb ass down there, bitch. <laughs> uh, Dawn, do I put her an S? I don't know. I like her a lot, but she just wasn't in that many episodes. So I think just because of that, 
I have to put her on A, because we just didn't see that much of her. I mean, I like her a lot, but I just don't think she's S material. Like, that's the thing. A lot of the characters that are in S tier are just going to have screen time advantage. That, that's just the reality of it, because, like, all these characters had, like, really good development and just more time to shine so I could grow more attached to them than, you know, a lot of these characters down here. It's just, that's just how it is, so. Maybe that's biased, but I don't know. Fuck it. Devin, he's also going in B with uh, Carrie. Like, the whole breakup stage thing cut a little bit annoying like he was like i get i get people can be down bad after a breakup but this guy like holy fuck <laughs> it was like it was unreal don i might put him in c actually he was decent but i don't know like he, he definitely didn't annoy me as much as like revenge of the island and onward chris but at, you know chris has like a lot more memorability to re memorability to him i mean which makes sense i guess because you know he was the og host yeah don i, I don't know like there, he just doesn't have that that wow factor I, I, if that makes any sense <laughs> Uh, Dwayne's senior. Uh, I think I'll put him in B. He was decent. He was decently funny, and I, I liked how much he cared about his son, even if it was embarrassing him a lot. Yeah, so I, I respect that. Uh, Ella's going in C. I don't hate her. I don't hate her as much as these pieces of shits, but she was definitely on the more annoying side. So, I think she's a good spot for her. Who the fuck is that? This is Elodie, right? <laughs> remember what her name is I, I i i i'm pretty sure she's elodie i'm pretty sure she's elodie and the woman the, the uh one with the bigger nose is mary yeah i'm probably gonna put her in c also don't really care much for her uh emma's going in a uh, i definitely like i said she she was one of my favorite parts of the Redonkulous race the Redonkulous race when she was interacting with noah but at times she did kind of get on my nerves uh with the way she was treating Kitty. Like, that sometimes got a teeny bit annoying, but other than that, she was a really good character. Uh, Anwi's also going in A. Like, he's he's amazing. Uh, Jeff. I feel like I want to put him in A. Like, I don't know. Like, even- I feel like I should be putting him maybe in B with Brody, but I don't know. Brody felt way more stereotypical as, like, a dumbass surfer dude. He's like, Cha, dude, I, I, I have an IQ of 12, dude. That, you know, he felt way more like that than Jeff did. Like, Jeff felt more human to me and maybe that's because he could uh compete in an island so i think i think a's a good an okay spot for him i think a's good is this jerry or pete i think this is jerry right this is jerry <laughs> uh jerry's going at c like i respect that he wasn't like always at uh, his uh, at pete's throat with each other i mean they were rivals but they weren't like out to kill each other i mean that was cool but i mean eh, kind of a bare bones character in my opinion uh blaine is also going in c i don't know she, she was just kind of an, an annoying hollywood diva and she only competed for like two episodes in world tour i just don't really care for her that much uh jacques huh i think i'll put him in a i, I liked him and jose a lot as uh antagonists in the redonkulous race like they felt they almost felt like a brush of fresh breath of fresh air in a sense because of how bad antagonists were held or handled in pocket two. and he was he had he was pretty funny too like he was the more comedic reliefy one of the two but I like them. Uh, I'm gonna put Jasmine in S. She's one of the best Pocket 2 characters, as simple as that. Like, I, I like her a lot. Uh, Jay is gonna go in A. I like Jay. Jay was pretty good. He's not, like, top tier, top tier, but I, I liked he and, he and Mickey were, were pretty good in the Redonkulous race. Uh, Jen. I feel like B is a decent spot for her. I, f I feel like she belongs in B. She had, I mean, even though she didn't last that long, I kind of liked the mini development arc she had with Tom about the whole, like, who started the blog thing, and then they, you know, were able to reconcile. Unfortunately, they got eliminated that same episode, but it was, it was nice. Joe, I think I'm probably gonna put in B also. She was a decent antagonist. She was, like, a, I guess, like, kind of the secondary antagonist for Revenge of the Island, but... I, mm -hmm. Yeah, but she got, like, really snuffed in, stuffed in All-Stars, though. I don't know. Like, she actually did nothing in All-Stars. It was unfortunate. Like, she was, she did a lot in Revenge of the Island, but did, like, nothing in All-Stars. Uh, maybe I'll put, maybe I'll put her in A, actually. You know what? I think I'm gonna put her, I think I'm actually gonna put her in A. Uh, same with, jo you know, Jose, obviously. I liked her a lot as an antagonist. She was really, really good. Junior, probably gonna go and be with his father. He didn't really stand out too much. He was just kind of a... Like, I almost felt like Dwayne stood out more than he did. Because uh, Junior... I mean, even though Junior took charge more talent challenges, like, personality-wise, he was kind of just, like, the typical young teenage kid who just got embarrassed by their parent. I mean, he wasn't, like, a brat, like, you know, uh, this one right here, but he wasn't too special. Uh, Justin's going in A. He didn't do anything in Ireland, but he was, he was just so good in action. He was so good in action. Like, I feel like that just outweighs everything that, that happened in Ireland, to be honest. Katie, do I put her in D? Ah, <sighs> I think I might. I think I might. I don't know. I just really did not like her and Sadie that much at all. I'm sorry. I, I just didn't. 
Like, neither of these two were, were very entertaining to me. Like, they, they were just worse versions of Lindsay, honestly. Like, I, I was not a huge fan of them. Kelly, I think I'm going to put in C. Because I don't think she was as bad as Taylor. Like, she was def she definitely was not a good uh, good parent and, you know, not a super great contestant. But I don't think she was too horrible. Like, she was trying. She, did, she was definitely trying. She just didn't. Like, she was trying, but just trying in the wrong aspects, if that makes sense. Uh, I'm going to put Kitty in A as well. She, she was good. I liked her. I probably liked her equally as um, uh, as much as Emma, actually. She was she was always very positive, like, regardless of how Emma treated her, which I respect. So I, I feel like putting her in her is good. Uh, is this Lori or Miles? I actually have no idea, but you're going to see. Good band. <laughs> uh, Leonard, get the fuck down there. You're actually dog water. <laughs> uh, Lindsay's going in S. What more can I say? She's probably one of the funniest uh, female contestants in the show, I think. Besides, besides maybe Izzy. She she was amazing. And she had she had really good development in action, too. Uh, Lorenzo going... Oh, whoops. Did not mean to put you there, buddy. Sorry about that. Lorenzo, you're going up in A with your, with your stepbrother. Like, th these guys were funny as fuck. Like, I know some people probably got annoyed about their constant bicker, but I, I found it funny. Like, it was... It, I, I get enjoyment out of seeing two guys who are literally probably like 17 18 years old acting like they're six like that I, that's funny to me i don't know maybe maybe that's that's juvenile but I, I thought that was funny and it was nice seeing them realize how much they had in common but it was unfortunate how once they realized how much they had in common and they could become much more threatening as a team they ended up getting booted very unfortunate uh macarthur also going in a i liked her a lot Mar both macarthur and sanders are really good contestants they definitely deserve to make it to the final two uh mary right yeah mary you're going to see i i just Nope. Max? I think Max is going to B. Uh, he definitely, you know, obviously wasn't good as a threatening antagonist, but he was, he had his moments. He definitely had his, his comedic moments, you know, so I don't think he's as bad as these guys. He's definitely not A tier, but I think like, you know, lower end of B-ish. Uh, Mickey, you're going to A with your brother. I already spoke on you. Oh, dear God. Where, where do I put this guy? <laughs> I feel like I'm gonna, I think B maybe, like lower end of B, like max. No, regular Mike is like cool. And if he, if they didn't like have his skills split up into like the DID thing, I think I might've actually liked him more. Like I, I know they do that. I know they did that to him probably to just make him stand out more. And also to use as a plot device for his relationship with Zoe because he was always lying about this condition because he was embarrassed about it. I don't know. I, I feel like the way they handled DID was, was not very good. And I mean... I guess back then when the show was made, it was, I, I, you could argue that it was a different time and mental health wasn't taken as seriously, but still. And, you know, Mal, don't even get me started on him. Like, the, do, do not even, I'm not even gonna, nope. Nope. <laughs> Zoe, she's going to S tier. This character, she's an amazing character. She might be like my, she's probably top five favorites to me, honestly. Like, I don't know if, she, I don't know if I want to say she's like my second favorite, but she's definitely top five. She, she's an incredibly good character. The only thing that I didn't like about her that much is how long it took her to realize uh, Mal was pretending to be Mike. That was the only thing that didn't look with me too well. Uh, Miles, I think. Yeah, she's going in C as well. Uh, same with Petey Boy. Uh, Rock, I think I'm going to put in B. Like, Rock and Spud, I'm kind of indifferent on. Like, they weren't super great, but they weren't, like, mediocre and or terrible either uh but rodney though pretty mediocre not not a huge fan of him uh ryan this is going to be a, a situation where the the teams are not going to be in the same tier they're not uh ryan i'm actually going to put b because ryan a lot of the times like when he was getting into it with stephanie like when i was re-watching redonkulous race a lot for a downfall video in my every contested ever video like ryan was in the right almost all the time like he just was dude like stephanie was 99 percent of the time the one acting irrational and acting completely insane and ryan was always the one who would like try to come to a compromise and would still get shot on i, I think putting him in b is b is fair uh sadie is going down there with katie obviously because they're basically the same character uh sam i don't know like i almost want to put him in a but like you know what? Maybe he is A-worthy. Maybe, I think, I think I'll put him in A. He was, he was pretty good. He wasn't that great in All-Stars, but I, I liked him. I liked him a lot in uh, Revenge of the Island, even though he didn't make it that far in either competition, respectively. I think, I think he deserves it. Yeah. Mm. yeah. I mean, that, that might be, putting him up there might be a little controversial, but fuck it. Uh, Sammy, I'm going to put her in B. Uh, she's 
she was good. It's just unfortunate how she only lasted like one episode by herself before getting booted. Like I, I it, it felt like, oh wow, she like finally stood up to her hor horrific conniving evil sister and could, you know, wow, take this whole thing home. And then she was in one episode by herself. And then the next episode, Amy returned to the island by swimming and then they both got booted. So unfortunate. Uh, Sanders obviously going into A with MacArthur. I liked her a lot, but you know, for different re I liked her as much as MacArthur. I mean, they, they were both very different in terms of personalities, but they're both very uh, enjoyable as characters. Uh, Scarlet is gonna go and see. She was, she was all right. Like, uh, well, yeah. Yeah, I think, I think C's good for her. Her reveal as a villain wasn't like super out of left field per se, because they did kind of build it up, but I don't know. Like I said, just the way they handled villains in Pocket Deal was just so bad. Like, even though they did technically build her up, like, she literally acted like, wahaha, I'm a comic book villain now who's gonna blow up the world that, that Mal was, so. Uh, Scott, I think is going in B. I think I'm gonna put Scott in B. I think that's fair. He was an alright antagonist in Revenge of the Island, but then he kind of just became a punching bag in All-Stars. Like, he just got rolled by the environment all the time, and I was like, eh, okay, sure, why not? Uh, Sean's going in S. I know, I know some people don't really like the whole zombie thing, but he, he made it work. I liked it a lot. Like, he was, I, I, I sound like a broken record, I'm sure, but, but these two just carried, carried the season for the most part. Uh, Sky is going in B. She's, she's okay. She, she's all right. Not, not as bad as these guys, but, you know, not A tier. Like, that's the thing, a lot, a lot of these B tier characters, it's just like I'm putting them there because I I don't like dislike them slash despise them as much as these guys, but I def and I definitely don't like them as much as like A tier and above. So I think B is okay. Uh, Spud also going in B tier with Rock. Uh, Stacy, get the fuck out of here. Stephanie is uh, Stephanie's going in D too. Actually, she was like even though she made it far in the ridiculous race, like my God, was she annoying? She was so annoying. Like she was. Almost as bad as Amy. Like, I imagine Amy would have acted like Stephanie in a sense if she made it as far as Stephanie did in Redonkulous Race as Amy would could have in Pocket Deal. I can't talk, I'm sorry. I'm just so bad at <laughs> doing these types of videos. I'm so used to reading off a script, dog. I can't do this. I can't talk like a normal human being. Oh, uh, Sugar's also going to D tier. I did not like her as a character. Dude, oh my god. Her too. Like, get, get the- Get the fuck- <laughs> Like, all- all four- Like, they are so bad. Like- Taylor was so bad, like, fucking Tammy was awful. Taylor, Tammy, Sugar, like, they're all so, ugh. Can't stand them, dude. Cannot stand them. Uh, Lightning, I think I'm gonna put him in A. He, he, he was, like, similar to Joe, where he was very, very, like, he was an idiot, but he was still a very formidable competitor in, in the Revenge of the Island, which I, uh, respected, but he got absolutely rolled in All-Stars, so. Tom is gonna go in B tier with Jen as well. I, I, I he was... He was okay. He was decent. Uh, and last but not least, we have Topher Grace. Uh, I think he's gonna go in C tier. E even though he's placed, you know, in the last section of C tier, I technically have him in the upper range of C tier, I guess. I definitely like him more than Scarlet and Rodney and, like, Pete and stuff, but I don't think I like him as much as Don or even Ezekiel. He was just, like, you know, the Chris, the Chris wannabe who wanted to take over the show and didn't contribute much else besides that, so somewhat indifferent on him. But yeah, I think that just about does it for this video. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed. Um, I'll put a link for the tier list in the description below if you guys want to make your own tier list. Um, I'm sure a lot of people are going to disagree with this, which totally makes sense, you know? If you want to, uh, tell me what you guys think I should have placed higher or lower, you know, you can totally do that. I'd love to hear, hear your opinions and thoughts on that. But this was fun. You know, I've actually never done a tier list video before, but I actually had a lot of fun doing this. So I, I might do another one in the future, maybe on Owl House or something, if you guys want to see that. That's going to do it for this video, though. If you enjoyed it, be sure to leave a like down below. It helps me out a lot. But for now, I will see you guys next time. Peace out. Take care. Bye-bye. <laughs>